Hello, welcome to the Maya Toolbound. This is Michael. This video will be a little bit of a quick one. We're going to be going over a relatively simple curve command. Under the curves menu, there is the detach command. We can detach a curve. If we go into the options for detach, you see there's only one setting for just keeping the original curve. So to demonstrate that, let's go to create curve tools, CB curve tool. And I'll just make some points to draw a curve. And once I'm happy with that, hit enter. And I can press 3 to get the smoothest version of my curve. So the detach curve command literally will take a point on this curve and cut it at that point and make two separate curves. So if I right click on my curve, I'm going to choose a curve point. Now a curve point component is not a component that you can see visibly on the curve and you select like you can with control vertices or edit points like these are. If I choose a curve point, that's actually me specifying a point on the curve. If I left click and drag, you can see a red dot drag along the curve with my cursor. So with a curve point, I'm actually specifying a point on this curve to tell Maya to do something. So in this case, I'm telling Maya where I want to detach this curve. So pick any point along the curve that you want. This one, for example. And with it still highlighted, I can go to the Curves menu and say Detach. You can see there, right at that point, the color from the selection turns from green to white, indicating multiple curves selected. So here I have this curve and this curve. So both curves have been detached. You can move one separate from the other. You can see on the outliner here, you have Curve 1, and then I have Curve 1 Detached, Curve 2. So it kind of gives you that long name for those two things. So let me create a new curve. Create Curve Tools, CV Curve Tool. I can kind of do the same thing. I want to show you. Again, I'm going to right click on the curve and choose Curve Point. Select a point on the curve. But then I'll go to again the Curves Detach. But this time I'm going to the Options and choose Keep Original. Okay. Now, although this setting doesn't really seem like much, it does kind of open up a couple things. By choosing Keep Original, you're actually applying history to the setting because typically you don't have any history if you do not have Keep Original turned on. So now if I have Keep Original turned on and hit Detach, you see here now I have the original curve. And now you can see highlighted in this pink color two new curves. Now because I kept the original one, we have a history link. You see the curves are pink indicating a history connection. So if I right click on my original curve, for example, and change the shape, it will change the shape of the new curves that were created because that history link is still there, including like past the point, through the point of detachment right here, we can still edit that shape and maintain that curvature. We also see where we didn't see it before, a detached curve setting here, and we have this parameter value. This parameter value is an indication of where along the curve the detachment happened. You can see, as I minimize, click, and drag, right through here, that change of color. You see how this is white and this color is green? Right here is where that white and green meet. So as I change this parameter value, I'm actually changing where on the original curve, the detachment happened, and therefore changing the resulting shape of the two detached curves. So I could have my detachment happen all the way down here, for example, you can see it better when I select them separately. Or if I undo that and go back to when they were, they were all selected, I can change it so that the detachment happens over here. So after you detach the curve, if you have Keep Original turned on, you can control that point of detachment after the fact and change it. So again, like I said, let me delete all these. Create curve tools, CB curve tool. Let's draw a quick one. Right click and choose curve point. Select a point on the curve. Go to curves, detach, options. And if keep original is not turned on, 
and I detach, I get my two curves, but I have no history. There's nothing to control that parameter value anymore. So that is the difference that keep original can have on this particular command. Otherwise, it's relatively simple. You choose a point, you detach the curves, and you're done. All right, well, thanks again for watching. Hope you learned a little bit about detach curves and how keep original can uh, uh, give you that history that you can play with. Thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you later.